Sometimes the only way to recover your files is to reset your device and restore from an iCloud backup. However, this can be inconvenient and may result in the loss of newer files, apps, and settings. In this video, I'll show you a few methods to restore your iPhone from iCloud without erasing it. This way, you can get back your important files without risking your current data. So, without any further delay, let's get into the video. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. Method 1. Restore data from iCloud backup without reset. As mentioned earlier, if you want to restore specific files from iCloud without resetting your device, you can use a special app. Enrecover Data Recovery for iPhone is a highly effective tool for this task. Enrecover supports recovering data from storage devices like SD cards, HDD, and SSD, and it supports recovering from more than 1,000 different data types, including video, audio, document files, etc. Along with that, there are Mac and iPhone recovery services that makes it the best data recovery software that is available on the internet. So just check the video description to try this recovery tool. And for a limited period of time, we have an exclusive YouTube discount just for you. After downloading and installing, run and recover. Then click on iPhone recovery. Next, make sure your iPhone is connected to your computer and click on next. Here you can recover almost all types of data stored on your iPhone, but for me, I just want to recover my deleted photos, so I'll select Photos and click on Scan. Next, enter the password on your iPhone and let any recover scan your device for all the permanently deleted data or photos. Once the scan completes, select the data that you want to recover. In my case, I'll select my photos and click on the restore to device if you want to recover the data to your iPhone or click on recover to computer to save the data to your computer. Select the location where you want to paste your data and click on recover. Shortly, all your data will be recovered and that too without resetting your device. Method to restore iPhone from iCloud backup. You can restore your iPhone from a backup without losing your files and settings by visiting iCloud.com. Using a web browser to access iCloud.com allows you to recover certain files without having to reset everything on your iOS device. First, visit iCloud.com on your browser, log into your account using your Apple ID and password. Here, you'll be able to view the files saved on your iCloud account. The main drawback of this method is that you should have backed up your data to your iCloud account in order to get back your data. Method 3. Manually restore your iCloud backup If you have already backed up your data, you can manually restore your iOS device from the iCloud backup anytime. Here are the simple steps to do it. First, erase your iPhone by going to Settings, then to General, Scroll down and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. After the iPhone restarts, follow the on-screen steps until you reach the Apps and Data screen. Here tap on Restore from iCloud Backup. Now select the backup you want to restore and wait for the restoration to complete. By doing this method, you will format the device or in simple terms reset your iPhone which is something that we don't want. If you ask me, the method 1 or the first method is hands down the best method for you. Just a few clicks and all your data is on your computer or your iPhone. Don't forget to find the YouTube discount code on the channel homepage which is nothing but ARYT0110 to receive a 10% discount on our license. On the buy page, the lifetime upgrades are a big deal so I'll apply it. Paste the code on this area and get two discounts. Remember that this is a limited time discount, so make sure you hurry up fast. Well, by following these steps or methods, you can restore your data from iCloud backup without resetting your iPhone or iOS device. Make sure to follow each and every step carefully, but still, if you have any doubts or questions, then do let us know in the comment box down below. That's it for this video. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.